Hey folks, how you doing? My name is Joel Newbold. I'm a bartender here at Hugo's Rivers Casino here in Philadelphia. And I'm going to make one of my favorite cocktails to make, the classic old fashioned. Now, when you're dealing with the classic old fashioned, you always want to go with a bourbon or a rye whiskey. Uh, so one of the ones I'm going to use here is the Jefferson Small Batch uh, Bourbon. Um, and then also Agostura Bitters, which are very important. That's pretty much the backbone of any good any good uh, old-fashioned cocktail. A um, little bit of simple syrup or sugar. Um, I use simple syrup just because it's a lot easier to use on the bar. And then, you know, your ice and things like that. One common myth about the old-fashioned, as far as the muddling and the condiments, is people muddle and, and they add club soda or Sprite. They put in full pieces of cherry and full pieces of orange. That's not a classic old-fashioned. A classic old-fashioned is bitters, sugar, and whiskey. That's how it was made. The cherry thing came in later, and it got all kinds of cattywampus from there. So I'm going to show you how I like to make the classic old fashioned. Uh, I grab any old mixing glass, and what I do is I put my own spin on it. Instead of putting a whole piece of orange in there, I just take an orange, and I just take a peel from it. Like this. Drop that in the mixing glass, along with Two or three dashes of Agostura bitters. A shot of simple syrup, uh, maybe half ounce, if that, if you want to do that. And then I take a skin of lemon peel, not the whole lemon. That's just uh, something I added on first. Then I take these ingredients and I muddle these. So what I do is I muddle these ingredients. And what it does is it gets the oils from the lemon peel and the orange peel mixed in with the bitters and also with the simple syrup. What you want to do is, you don't want to, you know, drive it in or crash it. You just want to get the oil in there, get them moving a little bit, you know, get the simple syrup and the bitters, and mix in with it and get it all mixed in there together. I say you can mix it for about 35, 30 to 45 seconds, maybe a minute if you're, if you got that kind of time. And then when you're done that, you can add your whiskey. Now, like I said, I'm using the Jefferson Small Bass Bourbon. What you want to do is, you want to take it out to the half. Pour it inside. And then, one thing you want to do is add the ice. Now, when you add the ice, you don't want to fill the whole cup up with ice. You just want to fill it up to enough to where, when you're mixing it, the ice dilutes it a little bit. And the key to that is, once the ice goes down below the bourbon, you know it's time to, it's ready to go. So I say mix it for about 45 seconds to a minute. Now what a lot of people don't understand is they think the more ice, the, you know, the colder it has to get. It'll get cold just with a little bit of ice in it. But once it dilutes and it mixes it with the rest of the bourbon, it, you know, ice does its job naturally. So after the ice melts down below the top of the surface, I fill my, my glass up with ice. About three quarters, and then I strain all the ingredients, the bottled ingredients, and the whiskey inside there. And then what I do is, to top it off, I take another slice of lemon peel, not the whole lemon, just a slice of lemon peel, and this is kind of a play on the Sazerac. I just take it, spritz it over top, then I rub the edge of the glass. Same thing with the piece of orange that we did earlier. You want to get those over invested. The oil's coming in and they make the drink so much more better. And then what I do is I make them like a piece of rabbit ears and then voila, you have the perfect classic old fashioned. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps you out and enjoy.